everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Rachel Amma and today I am bringing you through my vegan kitchen. Now, I thought it would be really interesting to bring you in my kitchen, show you what's on the shelves, show you what's on the fridge, show you what's in the pantry, and just show you all the different foods I have that keep this journey amazing and keep the recipes popping because this is the journey to be on, guys. So let's get straight in. Yay! So welcome to my fridge. So let's start down here. Down here we have the hemp seeds, the Brazil nuts, flax seeds and walnuts, and here we have flax seeds. Now these are really essential to me. In my flax seeds, I always get my omega freeze, protein, iron and magnesium, and I have that pretty much every day just so I tick those off the list. And they're really nice. Then with the flax seeds and the almonds and Brazil nuts, you also get iron, you get omegas, you get a lot of protein, not to mention the hemp seeds, guys. These are jam packed with protein. Uh, they're really great on salads and they're really good in porridge and things like that. As you can see, omega-3, protein, iron, magnesium, and obviously these are vegan. So just as an example, 30 grams of hemp seeds equates to 10 grams of protein. Now that's pretty insane guys if you ask me. Anyway, this is my favorite milk, coconut milk. I think it's because it's kind of sweet and it doesn't really taste that much like coconut, I'm not even gonna lie. Maybe that's why I like it. Then I have my almond milk, which I prefer in tea. If we go up a bit, we've got green pesto. Guys, this vegan ace, let me just tell you, life, 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 life. Ignore that, but life. This is the best vegan mayonnaise out there, I'm telling you. Then we've got some capers. Uh, what was some mustard, black currants, French Dijon mustard. I have to let you guys know some of this stuff isn't vegan. Oh my god, look at that. Look at the date on that Dijon mustard. I knew it was gonna be old. 2015. Come on guys, what are we doing? There's always something in the fridge that's been there way too long and has has it even been open? Look. Anyway, more green pesto, more mayonnaise, did not like that at all. Artichoke cream, chili paste. It's always nice adding chili paste to things, it always gives it a nice little kick. Then up here we have the coconut yogurt. I don't actually like this one, but my mum likes this one. Then we have tahini all the way from Japan. This is my mum's absolute favourite. Then we've got some more pesto. Then we've got some dates up here, great for sweetness. Then if we come over here, let's start at the top. I don't even know what this is. This is from Japan. This is my mum's stuff. This is my favourite vegan cheese at the minute. Doesn't taste like cheese, but it tastes good. We've got the hummus. This is the best hummus, so it's really easy just to... When you're hungry and you don't know what to eat, hummus and pita bread is just the lick. This is, my, this is my dog's rice. Yep, I said it. Yep, we're just gonna skip past that. This is some chickpea tuna that I made. These are some peri-peri potatoes that I've got left over. This is some more rice I have left over. I really like these glass containers, by the way. Shout out to Ikea for those. Then we have our tomatoes, our mushrooms, our peppers. Here we're getting those vitamins and nutrients. We're getting our vitamin Cs. Then we've got some opened pomegranate. Bananas, I like cold bananas. It's, it's just my thing, guys. I, I like cold bananas. Blueberries, we all know that blueberries are life. They are full of antioxidants and full of vitamins and they're very nutritious and they're very tasty. Then we've got a whole bunch of broccoli because broccoli is life too. Broccoli will give you that vitamin C kick. Ideally, you wanna look out for the green leafy vegetables. So for example, uh, we've got spinach down here. This spinach is what's gonna give you those B vitamins and that iron that you need. Then these are just like mint, coriander, parsley, some rocket in there. Garlic, essential, shout out to Dave's because I know you're on garlic for life. Ginger, I have ginger and lemon in hot water pretty much every morning. It's a great way to start your day and it's really good for you and it's supposedly meant to give you energy, but you know. We have cucumber and then we have avocados because life is avocados. Life is all of these vegetables. Life is all of these vegetables. And then in here we have red onions. Red onions are my favorite type of onion. I always cook with onion, I love onion. Then we've got our sweet potatoes, our vitamin C packs. We've got regular potatoes because I love regular potatoes too. 
I think I love them more than sweet potatoes at the minute and that's not good because we all know that sweet potatoes are healthier. And in here we have a few apples as a snack. We have some zucchini, some vitamin C. We have some carrots and we all know carrots are really good for you. And all these foods just go into any stews I make and it's just the lid. We just go straight into the, the freezer. Uh, now, here we have frozen mangoes and frozen berries. Like I said, berries are so good for you and it's so easy to throw them in a smoothie when they're frozen. These are the corn vegan nuggets. Um, they're okay, bit dry, they're okay. Then we've got some vegan ice cream. That one's okay. This one, this one, guys, this is my favorite. My little, this is so nice. Then over here we have frozen chicken, obviously not mine. We have some tortilla wraps, some pita bread, some of Linda McCartney's vegan sausages, and more vegan sausages. They're always on deal, so I always end up getting two. Now, if we come over here, oh, hey, Marley. This is where we have all our beans and grains. So, for starters, coconut milk. I'm really obsessed with making coconut rice. It's just an obsession of mine at the minute. Then we have our chickpeas. Great source of fiber, plenty and plenty of protein. It's as simple as mixing chickpeas with the vegetables in the fridge and now you've got a delicious, nutritious stew. Nutritional yeast, obviously, come on guys. Some tomatoes, tomatoes, aduki beans, black beans, kidney beans, more black beans. This is just where we keep all the beans, cannellini beans. They all just live in here. And what I like to do is I like to bulk buy these and then you're never out of food, really. Then in here, we have our teas. Maca tea. I'm not a heavy tea. Ah, we have this. My mom got me this as a present. She got me some jackfruit. Because when I used to look for jackfruit, it was impossible to find. And now it's become more available, which is great. Uh, some gluten-free wraps for my mom. Um, flour. Tea. That's a boring one. This is where we've got pasta and rice and brown rice down here. Short grain brown rice is my absolute favorite. We've got some oats in here, more pasta. We've got the sunflower seeds on fleet. We've got the red rice, which is really nice. Really, 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 really nice. is where technically this is just where the carbs are rice 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 we've got some pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds this is where you just want to get a nice crunch in your salads add in nutrition and they're really tasty so you can find a lot of goodness in those then we've got quinoa essential although it doesn't really sit that well with my tummy then we've got lentils buckwheat some spelt pasta and some risotto rice and a few one two cookbooks Let's start off at the top. This is cheeky. This is where I get my choc, choc shots. This makes great hot chocolates. You can get this in the co-op, Sainsbury's, most places. Vegan, and it's really nice chocolate. Then we have some raw cocoa powder. Then in here, we have maca root powder. So maca powder is meant to be really great for balancing hormones. It's actually what people recommend for fertility, and it's meant to give you energy. So people recommend taking a teaspoon of that in the morning. Then we also have wheatgrass powder. Obviously these are your le dark leafy greens, which are giving you your vitamin C and your A and your protein and your fibers and your energy. Then we also have guana powder. These, are, these powders are essentially nutrients that I put in smoothies, not to mention this huge, which I'm not gonna bring out. This is a pea protein, vegan of course. Whenever I'm at the gym and I've done a workout and I feel like I need a protein boost, I throw some of this in a smoothie and I'm good to go and I've got some extra protein. And then in here, spirulina! This is great guys, this is so nutritious. This is even darker leafy green so you're getting your irons and your B vitamins and there's just endless guys, there's loads of vitamins. Let's put 
this back. The Smoothie Energy Nutrition Corner. Then here we have all the herbs, are the herbs, so we make delicious food. So for example, we've got some oregano, we've got some ground cumin, we've got some bay leaves back there. And what's this one? Cardamom pods. We've got, we've just got a lot of seasoning we've got. I mean, I couldn't really show you all the herbs we have, but these are essential guys. Chinese spice back over there. Some chili flakes back there. And down here is the vitamins, guys. These are my liquid iron sachets because at the moment I am anemic, which isn't great. Then we've got these kind of vitamins here. This is my B12 boost spray. Because you know us vegans are meant to be low in B12, so there we go. No doctors come for me. Then we've got some vitamin C. Complex to be honest, a lot of these are my mum's, but the B12 and the iron and the vitamin C is me too. Then, down here, we've got some pancake mix. Um, this is like the cake section, like coconut soda, baking powder. This is cake mix stuff. We don't really make that many cakes, but when we do, we come here. And that is pretty much it. Brings us to the end of my vegan kitchen. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Essentially, it is just your fresh fruits and vegetables in the fridge, your pantry with your tin tomatoes, your cans of beans, your chickpeas, your cannellini beans, and then you've got your carbs like your pastas and your quinoas and your rices, and then you mix them all together and that's when you're making amazing recipes. And of course, you then gotta spice it up with all the different spices you got, whether you want your Mexican spices, your Caribbean spices, your Chinese spices, and you've got plenty of recipes and plenty of food to look forward to, I am telling you. And on top of that, it is cheaper than meat. Yes, I said it. Your cans of beans, they're 50p to a pound, depending on where you're getting them from. You've got your bulk pastas and your rices, cheaper than meat. You've got your fresh fruits and vegetables, which are cheaper than meat too. And guess what? They are extremely nutritious and extremely good for you. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and got a bit of an insight into what you can find in a vegan kitchen. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it has helped you in any way, which I really hope it has. And subscribe to my channel because I will be making more and more content sharing with you my vegan lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.